everybody out there, Freightliner Team Run Smart Pro Jimmy Navarre is coming to you with a little bit about expanding your fleet. So, as many of you that follow along with my video blogs and written articles know, I have increased my fleet size a couple times over this year uh, through the hardships of high equipment costs and unavailable equipment, really hard to find stuff out there. You know, I, I don't so much come to you with a video on expanding as a positive note, but I want to warn everyone out there, don't just expand to expand. That's always been my philosophy whenever it came to thinking about increasing my fleet and adding trucks, adding trailers, is don't just expand to expand because of wanting to chase the money, uh, because of wanting to increase upon success. Of course, it's a smart thing to do, but there are certain things that advocate and warrant not doing so because what's going to happen is like we're seeing right now these days, equipment costs are going up exponentially. I mean, you wake up and the next day, a piece of equipment's two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 more than it was. It's kind of crazy out there right now. I've been sitting in on auctions, thinking about adding one or two more trailers. And you know what? I was having for 10 year, eight year old trailers, forty, forty-five thousand dollars $45,000 bids kicked back in my face. So I started to think to myself, I said, maybe it's not the best time to expand and maybe I should talk about it because if you're expanding just to expand and especially at these prices right now you can find yourself later on when everything either levels off or tapers down or goes into another of the usual cycles that we see you're going to end up seeing people that did expand just to expand and buy this equipment for that expansion at these escalated inflated prices losing equipment turning equipment in walking away from it. You're going to get these things happening and it's just bad business because ultimately expand when you have the chance to do so, when you have the freight to do so, but you also have to figure in the equipment cost of doing so. $90,000 brand new dry vans and 40 to 50, sometimes $60,000 for used dry vans and other markets, reefer, flatbed going just as crazy. Truck market is, I mean, I won't even go there. It's absolutely insane. These things, when you're paying that kind of price for something, make sure you have the freight to warrant doing so one unit at a time, two units at a time. Figure that into your business plan, but also figure the de-escalation or leveling off of things should it happen. Like they always say, a good thing never lasts forever. And in trucking, if you've been in it long enough like I have, you know that to be true. So plan ahead. You know, we were fortunate enough to get some equipment at some really great prices just before this insane escalation happened. So I'm very thankful for that, but I look out to you, everybody out there looking at expanding and say, if you get those great deals, by all means, go for it. Find the equipment. If you can afford to do so, and you know you've got a long-term thing that's gonna afford the high equipment cost, go for it. I'm never one to talk anyone down, but take it into account. Be smart about the planning when it comes to the high equipment costs we're seeing now, and don't just expand and buy that escalated piece of equipment just to expand and not know what tomorrow may hold. So a little bit of a fresh advice for y'all out there. Until next time, be safe out there, everybody. Keep it rubber side down.